What does it mean to be connected? And connected to what? The internet, our smartphones, social media? To me, being connected is about this guy right here. You're right. And what good is being connected if it doesn't improve the most important thing of all? Our lives. I'm Todd. I'm Hannah. This is Cooper. We're the Calverts, and this is our home. And this is our neighborhood. Our city. And yeah, our planet. <laughs> you knew that was coming. Just a few years ago, jet airplanes landed here. Now, the Miller development is one of the most vibrant, diverse communities anywhere. And that's why the Pecan Street Project asked us to partner with them on their pilot project. 100 families have volunteered to have our home energy use monitored for a year. The information it provides to Pecan Street will be amazing. To me, the, the people in the Miller community are like pioneers. We are bringing people together to do something in a way that is not being done this way anywhere else in the country. They are moving into the future. They understand technology. They know how the planet needs to change. Which means we have the world's largest controlled energy efficiency experiment, and that will give us great insights into what smart technologies and smart markets and smart consumers can do for reducing the energy consumption. The Miller development is unique. All kinds of people from all walks of life with one shared purpose, to help redefine the way we use energy. About 100 years ago, we built the power system, the grid. Then after World War II, we built it out again and made it bigger. Then we did it again in the 70s and 80s, and we really haven't done it since. So we're going through another one of these infrastructure reinvestment periods where we've got another trillion dollars on the table we need to spend just to upgrade and improve our current system. And that trillion dollar opportunity gives us a once in a lifetime chance to do it better. Once the Pecan Street folks understand how we use our energy, then we can begin to find ways to use it smarter. Little collar devices that wrap around. From the very beginning, the Pecan Street Project has involved the Miller residents. They answered questions about what data would be collected and how it would be used and how it would help launch a new generation of innovative products. James Dwyer lives just down the street. His family's also very excited to be part of the Pecan Street Project. What I would get out of the project is the knowledge of knowing that in some small way we're helping move this really, really critical project and concept forward and making it real. Kathy Sokolik is another neighbor who feels like she's part of something really important. With the Pecan Street Project, I can start making uh, the small steps myself and see how I use my own energy, and then I take a small step as a person, as a resident, and then my neighbor will take a small step with me. And then together, with a thousand of us, we're gonna, we're gonna take a really big step together, make a big change. We love being part of something that's going to help our son Cooper and his generation. It's definitely something that will make his life better. You know, when Cooper grows up and he gets his own family, uh, he's gonna look back and laugh and say, Duh, Dad, of course a house knows when you need hot water or when you're coming home. Instead of being smarter than a fifth grader, we're going to have to be smarter than our houses. <laughs> it's not making a charm, Here. <laughs> Our homes are talking, and Pecan Street is listening. It's a story worth telling with an exciting future. <laughs>